What you're gonna see is an attempt at Maria speedrun. Yep. Yep, this is gonna so happen. So give me a second to put the split up, Danny, okay? Okay. Let me enter a name. I don't the, think... uh, the world record in this category, by the way, is 7 minutes and 40 seconds. I oh, think wow. that's ridiculous. I think they used a Game Genie or something. Uh, I'm gonna set my goal at, let's say, 15 minutes. It'll be a miracle if I even finish, but, you know. Uh, keep our goals reasonable. New world record incoming. Okay, just let me know when. I've practiced this run about three or four times. Okay. I might be able to do this. It's in a bit. Also, this is really fun. I recommend playing as Maria just because she's so completely broken. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, go. Great start. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it! This is an official live <laughs> speedrun. So Maria's interesting. She has a lot of moves that make her move very quickly. Including this uh, sideways jumping kick that I really like. It's also pretty strong. Otherwise, she plays a lot like Richter. You get one life bar, every enemy does a ton of damage, and it's super easy to die. So, don't get hit. That's my pro tip. That's a beautiful pro tip. Also, my movements are extremely unoptimized. Please do not take inspiration from this. There are actual good speedrunners you can look up on YouTube. <laughs> I think we should donate to save the Richters. Mm. We do kill the Richters every year. We just don't even have a Belmont. They just let vampires roam the countryside. Maria also has this really cool super jump, which can occasionally take you forward like that. That's what you want to do. Uh, it's really hard to do that though. You have to hit down then upright. It has to be a very precise input. Speaking of precise inputs, you'll see more of those in a little bit. Mm, yes, Shaxford, join the conversation on hashtag social media with the hashtag hashtag kill them with the animals. <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. No, oh man. Oh no. Oh! You don't want this sword chasing you. Okay, well, it was bad. But we get some life ups. Mm -hmm. I'm not too worried. You get some up ones then? Yes, up ones. All the up ones. Sorry. I'm making deep Nintendo power references here all yeah. the <laughs> Up what? Uh. Oh. So yeah, if you play as Maria, you can fly through the game. And it honestly feels pretty good. It makes you feel really powerful. Just plowing through everything like this. Mm, cool Coyote, uh, thank you very much. They'll be donating a spooky ghost and a piece of meat found behind the wall to hashtag save the Belmonts. Excellent. Well-preserved wall meat. Okay, so I mentioned precise inputs. I'm going to do a super move here. This will take me many tries. So... Get ready to wait. Okay. 
There it is. It's a full 360 plus simultaneous button pushes. It's really, really hard to get. But what it does is it makes you fully invincible for 40 seconds and you damage anything that runs in into you. Oh my god. Uh, that's it is good. hyper broken. Especially when you pair it with the uh, the high jumps. I was going to say, what if she just took the power of all the animals there? Pretty cool. Mm hmm. And you can just kind of do that anytime you want. Just become fully invincible. That's what Maria can do. And yeah, as you can imagine, pretty handy for taking out bosses really quickly. <laughs> Doing okay. Mm -hmm. About to get to the inverted castle. And that's where things turn to shit. Am I right, folks? <laughs> yeah! Absolutely. Whoa! How about that inverted castle? No! No! The run is dead. No, we're doing good! This is no longer world record pace. It never was. <laughs> the actual runners of this game have much more dedication than me. They've spent more than two days practicing the speedrun. But even in that short amount of time, I was able to put together a decent-ish speedrun. And that says something. It's it's pretty easy to do, pretty fun to do once you get the uh, the controls down. I recommend it. Support the Maria speedrun lobby. Uh, jalapeno overdrives donating a rusted sword to hashtag Nerf Maria. Um, <laughs> I hate that rusted sword. <laughs> get that Man shit Dad out of here. Has a very good hashtag that I can't read out because uh, it's very long, but I totally believe. <laughs> I will do that hashtag to, to fuck the Belmonts. Um, opponent is also donating a sheet of paper with a heavy dither pattern printed on it to oppose whatever the last hashtag is. Thank Sweet. you. Sweet. Donation incentive. Mm -hmm. Submit your donations now for a chance to win legitimate Sega Saturn dithering. <laughs> I will personally oh, poke, so poke holes. Down. Wee. Yeah. Okay, here's where all the, the assholes come out to play, all the rough enemies. 81 Rambler lets us know. What do you call a PlayStation version of this game, Danny? What? CD rooms without loaders. Ooh, I feel you? just like I'm at SGDQ. <laughs> okay, watch this. This is going to be a really cool kill if I get it right. Check okay, it do out. It. That's not cool. I'm super uncool. <laughs> that's, that's cool enough. I've seen uncooler. Just we salvaged it though. Yeah, that's another one of her super moves. She just sets everything on fire. Well, finally, someone's got her. Okay, this part is where it gets really sketchy. In fact, legit speedrunners actually clip out of bounds here just so they don't have to do this next room. But I'm gonna do it because I didn't practice the skip. Okay, uh, while you're going here, we got some more donations coming in. Uh, a dog IRL is donating oh, some additional frames to kiss Dracula. And Mojibaka is donating a copy of Wand of Camelot by Danny Fightstick for these inputs. Excellent, thank you all. Oh, and thank you Trough of Luxury, they are matching donations to anyone who can prove that those sprite, extra sprites and animation routines were in fact done by Psygnosis. Alright, I'm You're gonna chicken wonderful. out here. I, love you. I only have half health, and honestly, the next part is death. So I'm gonna try and use that invincibility thing again. Okay. Yep. You have to start from up, then do counterclockwise back to up again, where you hold up for a couple of seconds, and then you push down and attack. That's how you do that. It's like a, a Zangief spinning pile driver, except way more difficult. No, You're doing on. good. You'll see the real sketchy part coming up here. Because this is where the little imps come in. Oh. How do you like slow down? Yikes. You can see why Yikes. people skip that room. Uh, not just because it's difficult, but even if you do it right, it slows down the game a ton. But we survived. Uh, if we can get past the Colosseum, we should be golden. 
That's a big if. Good luck getting past the Coliseum. Did you say Holiseum? I said Coliseum. Okay. I absolutely positively wish. If my speech impediment is making me say Holiseum instead of Coliseum, I, you know what? I'm, I'm down. I'm waiting to charge up my magic, by the way, because I'm taking this safe. Be dead. Okay. Rip. Okay. Oh. This is good. Cool cow skull. Thanks. There's only a couple more places where I can screw up, but... Cow skulls! Oh, boy. Don't, don't sing the, gear, the Dairy Queen jingle during my uh, Let's Play. I absolutely will, and... I am donating oh. uh, five used uh, dilly bars to save the animals. Dilly bars. Dilly bars. I lost too much health. I can't survive the next room. Uh, so... Maria, bring out your animal buds again. We're doing this, we're doing this the non-world record way. Now, I never said this was a good speedrun. If you asked me to describe it, I would describe it that as extremely great. sketchy. I don't care, that was awesome. Thank you. Those minotaurs normally take off a ton of health, I would not have survived that. Here, I'm gonna take some hits from werewolves. Oh wait, no I'm not, because I'm invincible. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Well, uh, that's the hard part out of the way. This should all be gravy. And this is where I'm gonna mess up, and it's gonna be really embarrassing. <laughs> okay, got past that guy. It's a race to the finish. What time have I got? You are at 11 minutes. That's not bad. Mm -mm. I can still make 15. Ten dollars to hashtag grow the animals from Dark Tetsuya. Thank you. <laughs> Please, haven't the animals suffered enough? I didn't even know you could save those guys at the end of Super Metroid until uh, GDQ came along. <laughs> I just always let them die, and I didn't even know. I don't feel guilty for it, though. You gonna try and make me feel guilty? <laughs> no one's arguing with you about it, I promise. Okay, good. Okay, okay. <laughs> to the final boss. This should take mm -hmm. a minute or so. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed my randomly skilled speedrun where some things go completely perfectly and some things I just never bothered learning. It's the exact reason why I watch AGDQ every year, Danny. <laughs> for, your, for your tireless efforts. In the category of, uh, you know, I watch a lot of tasks, speedruns, etc. You know, there's a lot of categories. My absolute favorite is the hit or miss category, as you call it, as you specialize in, <laughs> and yes. Occasionally skilled is how I like <laughs> to look at it. All right, here's the last boss. Oh, the Mercedes Benz logo is upside down. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of closed now. Let's see. Get ready on time. Okay. Time! 12.43! Hey, sub-13! And look at that! That was a legit speedrun I did! You did it! Sure, Congrats. I took it super safe, but, you know, that's Symphony of the Night in about 12 minutes. On the worst possible system that it's on. Wonderful. Well, Mr. Smiley is uh, matching any and all uh, Dracula kissing donations. We've also got uh, Cool Coyote matching the hot eats and cool treats, so that's good. 40 seconds of invulnerability, a bit much. Yeah, yeah just a little. It's kind of enough to destroy every boss in the game, and to make it, uh, it just makes the game not scary at all. The, the inverted castle would normally be a nightmare, but, you know, if you can be invincible, why not be invincible? I actually like playing as Maria more than Richter. Richter is like that, only he's much more fragile. Mm -hmm. Much more easily killed. And yeah, if there's one reason I recommend picking up the Saturn version of this, it's for the Maria game, because it's genuinely fun. It's so broken that it's actually great. Beautiful. And here we get to see the ending of Maria's story. 
Uh, Alucard killed Richter, and she was out to find who was controlling him, and she did. Now she's like, uh... And that's it, she just walks off. Okay. <laughs>